Hello and thank you for joining me for this overview of the Horizon admin portal. In this video, we'll look at the various tabs and where we go to make changes to different services within the Horizon admin portal. As you can see on my screen, I'm currently signed in with my admin account and I am on the dashboard tab. So we can see at the top of the screen, it says dashboard and we're currently displaying that particular tab. Um, this tab shows us some information, just sort of statistics, really, um, of call outcomes, uh, top 10 callers made, top 10 callers received, and how many calls per week we're receiving. Again, we can kind of toggle that between inbound calls and outbound calls. So it just gives you some nice uh, little statistics to, to view on your landing page when you sign in as an administrator. At the bottom, you've also got a summary of the subscriptions that you have on your Horizon um, phone system uh, and then we can see of those that have been uh, that we have how many of those are used etc um, at the top of the screen we can see we've got a series of different tabs uh, and these different tabs contain within them uh, different services that we can then go into and select I'm just going to run through these really quickly so the first tab that we have is the users tab so we can see our users on the system and then we can you know, search through the pages or we can search on a particular extension. Um, you know, so if I typed in 195, for example, we can see it pulls up a, a specific extension. We can also search on first name and last name um, you know, to find that particular user. And then once we found that user, if we want to make changes to them, we can just go ahead and select the edit option. The next tab along is a site management tab. So sites are defined by your uh, Opus engineer and what they really refer to are the geographical locations of your um, business. So, you know, you may have an office in London, you may have another office in Manchester. Generally, we would then create two sites, a site for London and a site for Manchester um, and assign the appropriate members of staff to those sites. Within the uh, sites, you can also see things like schedules and we can assign a specific DDI to be the, the main number for that particular site, uh, should we wish to. And we can also control things like the music on hold, um, call policies, so you know who we, who we can and can't dial. And there's also some collaborate settings within there as well. The next tab along is call groups. And again, you can see when hovering over the call groups tab, we have a series of different services within here. So things like hunt groups, uh, auto attendance, uh, paging groups, call centers. So depending on the services, some of these are licensed services. So uh, again, your uh, Opus engineer will be able to assist you with that. But um, depending on what it is that we need to make changes to, we just come to call groups and then we can select the particular service. So let's say we're looking at a hunt group. And then once we found the hunt group that we want to make a change to, we can just select edit. And then this will bring up a series of options around that particular service. So, you know, if I wanted to select users to be a member of this particular hunt group, we can then come to select users. If we want to assign a, a DDI or change the DDI that's assigned or the extension, then we can do that under assign number. OK, so this is all found within the, um, the so under call groups and hunt group. Again, the various services within here, we're we'll going kind to of dive into these in a bit more detail in some other videos. Uh, to the right of that, we've then got device management. So this is a central repository of all of uh, the devices that are assigned to the system and their device types. And then we can see if they are available. So the green light means they're available. Red light means that they have been assigned to a user. So we again, we can see, you know, which user, which site. Uh, and if they've got a phone number, uh, DDI, or just the extension number. So all of your um, devices will be loaded on here by um, your Opus engineer as well. So if you have purchased a bunch of devices and you're not seeing them on here, um, they just need to be uploaded to the system. So the right of device management, we can see the administration tab. Now, this has got some um, functions within here or services in here that uh, can be quite useful. So things like directory. Um, if we want to update an external directory that's available for all users on Collaborate or Horizon Contact or on their desk phones, um, then we just come into the directory tab and then we would 
just uh, assign the new directory entries within there. So just come in and do an add, and then we can type in a name, number, etc., and then select add. If we've got lots of external contacts that we want to add to the system, then we could just download a template to use um, and then upload that template once we've populated it uh, correctly. The final tab on the end there is just statistics. So statistics is showing us things like performance. So we can come in here and just see, uh, again, just a few more tidbits of information around um, how, and uh, you know, the types of calls and how many calls and, and so on. Uh, and then we can search for a specific user should we need to. So it's not super in-depth reporting but it just gives us uh gives us some uh, a nice overview as, as to what's going on so in this video we've uh, had a quick sort of overview of the horizon app in portal and just kind of navigating around that uh we can see you know most of it's really categorized within these particular tabs so it's just about finding the service that you want from within the the specific tab again you know if i needed to make change to a group i'm going to go to call groups and then i'm going to find that particular group that i want to make a change to uh if i want to um, create new users then again i'm going to go to users and then i can select the the add user option we will look at adding user in um, more detail in another video as well so yeah, just a quick overview uh, and uh, thank you very much for watching this demonstration.